Due to popular demand, I put together my own version of the Access Calendar Control. This will allow you to give your users a better looking calendar pop-up that you can control even if they're using newer versions of Access. And you don't have to worry about distributing an outside ActiveX control. If you remember older versions of Access from 2007 and before, they came with a date picker control, an ActiveX calendar control. It was a Microsoft object that you can embed inside your forms and it allowed your user to pick a date. That date could then be stored in any field that you wanted. Unfortunately, Microsoft stopped distributing this calendar control with Access 2010. The reason being that now date fields have this little pop-up calendar control right next to them and you can pick a date from here. However, this is very limited. You can't do anything to it. You're stuck with what Access gives you. So a lot of people have been emailing me about how to bring back that old calendar control and there are some ways you can but it's very difficult to do. Now I cover building full screen calendars and printable calendar reports in my Access Calendar Seminar. But as you can see, my calendar seminar was designed for Access 2007, which still had the calendar control from Microsoft in it. That seminar was more designed to teach you how to make a printable report that looks like a monthly calendar. We can get around having to have this calendar control by simply removing it and replacing it with a simple date field, and you can use Microsoft's date picker to pick a date. However, if you want something that looks a lot nicer and gives you a lot more control over the specifications of picking a date, that's where my new calendar control comes in. Now, it's not really a calendar control. It's a calendar form with a little bit of programming code behind it, but I'm going to show you how it works right now. This is the sample database that I put together, and this is what you get with the template. There are two ways you can use my new calendar form. You can use it as a pop-up or as an embedded calendar inside another form, depending on what your needs are. Let me show you the pop-up first. Here's the pop-up form. Now, I put two date fields on here to show you different ways you can use this. You can either click on a button to select a date, and there's my calendar control. You can see today's date is highlighted. You can flip through the months and the years, and then click to select a date. And as soon as you click, notice it's highlighted, and the date goes back here in the field. If you want to select today's date, just click on the Today link down here. When you're done, you can close this. I've made it a modal pop-up form so the user can't click back here behind it without closing the form first. You could very easily put your own OK button down here to simply close the form. Remember, you get complete control over the form template. You're not limited to someone else's design. You can also use a double-click event. Double-click, and there's the calendar. All right? Pick a date, close it, and there you go. That's the pop-up form. You can also use it as an embedded object. Here's the embedded version. I have two date fields up here. The calendar control works with the last control that you click on. So right now you can see the blinking cursor is in date one. If I pick a date, it goes right into date one. Pretend that's a start date, for example. Then click on date two and pick a second date. If you decide you want to go back up here, click on that one, pick a different date. This is simply an embedded subform. The template comes with the main menu, which is just simply two buttons to open up these other forms. It's got the pop-up sample and the embedded sample, so you can see both ways. The pop-up form is real easy. If you want to use this as a pop-up form, it's super simple. In design view, this is all you have to do. Set up your date field, and then in the code for a button, all you have to say is select date, me.name, that gives it the name of the form, and then the field on that form you want to send the date back to. In this case, there's my date one and my date two, which are these two fields right here. Because the calendar control needs to know where to send the date once you pick it. So that's what that is. And that's all you have to do. Select date. That's a function that I created. The function is embedded in this My Calendar mod. You have to include the calendar mod and the My Calendar form, and that's it. These other ones are just the sample template code. Right? That's the template for the pop-up and the embedded and the, my, and the main menu, which you don't even need. So it's one line of code and just specify the field. 
and that's it. If you want to give it a different form name, you can too. The embedded one requires a little more work. Here's the embedded form. For this, you have to use an on-click event. So when you click on this field, it tells the subform which field to use. So if you want to use it as an embedded form, it's a little bit more work, but not much. Just go to Events, On Got Focus, go to the Build Event, and it's right here. Select Date This Form, and then here's the sample code that you have to use right there. And that's it. You just have to put this in there and then copy in this subroutine. It will use the me.active control name to get the name of the control that you're currently on. So you just copy and paste this and you're good to go. So that's it. That's how you do it. It's real simple. It's real straightforward. You just click your button, pick your date, date goes back into here, and you can close that form. And that's it. And again, the benefits are you get more control. If you want to modify this form, you can. In fact, you could put events in here. These are all just simple labels. You can click on one of these and then maybe have a list of appointments show up next to it. Or whatever you want to do. This code is completely yours. You can play with it. You can modify it. You could make these combo boxes. That's one of the things I thought of where you can click a drop down and then pick a month. Click a drop down and pick a year. I just went with simple little buttons to cycle between them. You can do whatever you want. This code becomes yours. So that's my replacement for the calendar control. If you have previously purchased my Access Calendar Seminar, you will get a discount for purchasing this calendar control template. Look on the page that you're watching this video on now for more information. If you would like to see a video recorded showing you exactly how I built this calendar control, let me know. Post a comment below or send me an email or contact me on my website customer contact page and let me know. The control is based loosely on the same code that I used in the Full Access Calendar Seminar. Setting up the dates and the different uh, labels and the events. It's all pretty much stuff I've covered before in the Full Calendar Seminar, but if enough of you want to see how I built it, let me know. and I'll be happy to put together another mini tutorial for it. Thanks for watching, and of course, if you have any questions, let me know.